At a young age, children are learning how to operate and entertain themselves using a cell phone, tablet, or maybe just watching TV. But what is that doing to your child's brain? An alarming new study shows the potential damaging effects screen time can have on young children. Western Mass News reporter Alyssa McCann has those details. It's becoming more and more common to see children using a smartphone or a tablet at the dinner table or as they're driving in the car. But what exactly is that doing to your child's brain? It's readily available. It keeps kids quiet. I see it a lot in, in my office as well as when I'm out and about just doing the normal things throughout the day. It may keep the kids quiet and out of your hair, but a new study released this week by the American Medical Association journal JAMA Pediatrics shows the impact screen time has on a young child's brain development. The study checked out the brains of 47 children ages 3 to 5 years old who have not started school yet. The research revealed that children who use more than one hour of screen time have lower levels of development in their brain's white matter. So the, when the white matter is being laid down and how the brain communicates with different parts, um, screen time may not be an active enough um, activity to have the best wiring possibly could have. At least that's what the research is inkling towards, although it's very preliminary. Pediatrician Dr. Kelly with Redwood Pediatrics tells Western Mass News the first five years of a child's life are critical to their development and behavior skills. And the study suggests screen time can take away from that learning time. That's when everything is happening, you know, from, from uh, cognitive abilities to speech to personal interaction actions with other people, how to, how, you know, how to play well in the sandbox with everyone. Uh, and that's a crucial time for children to, to learn how to do those activities. Dr. Kelly says the devices serve as more of a distraction to children. They aren't getting the one-on-one -on -one time and the direct response from human interaction. Dr. Kelly also suggests parents try to stay off their phones as well to help create a more interactive experience with their young child. For Western Mass News, I'm Alyssa McCann.